Hello and welcome to 2 Minute Design, I'm Dage and today we're gonna watermark several photos that have different orientations all at once. This is my watermark. First, I need to decide where my watermark will be placed. If I want it in the center of my photos, I can save the file like that without any margin. But if I want it to be located on the bottom right or bottom left corner for example, then I'll need to create a margin for my watermark. To do that, I'll go to Image, Canvas Size, and I'll add 10 cm to the width and to the height. That way the margins will be 5 cm from each side. Now this is not enough because Photoshop will ignore these transparent areas. So let's create a new layer, hit Alt or Option Backspace to fill it with the foreground color, and then decrease the fill percentage all the way to 0%. Click here to add the layer style, and select Stroke. Make sure it's in the center, set the size to 1 pixel, and the opacity to 1%, so it's actually not visible. And then save the file as a PSD, I'll call it watermark. Now I have all these photos here, some are landscape and some are portrait, and I want the same watermark to be located on the bottom right corner. So I'll open one photo in Photoshop, let's close the watermark, and then go to Window, Actions. What I want to do is to record a series of steps or actions, and then apply the same steps to each photo. So click this button to create a new action, I'll call it watermark, and hit record. As you can see, the record button is activated, and now Photoshop is recording everything I'm doing, so let's be careful here. Let's go to File, Place Embedded, or just Place if you have an older version, and choose the watermark file we just created. Hold down the Shift key to make it proportionally smaller, and then hit Enter. Hold down the Shift key again and click on the background layer, so now we have both layers selected. Make sure you have the Move tool activated. And then up here we have the Alignment options. We want to align the right edges and the bottom edges. That's it. So let's stop recording by clicking the Stop button. Now you can close the photo without saving. And then go to File, Scripts, Image Processor. Click Select Folder. And choose the folder that contains your photos. I'll set the quality to 10. But feel free to change that as you wish. Down here check Run Action. Select the watermark action we just created and then hit run. Photoshop will automatically open, watermark, and then save each photo. When it's completed, you can check your photos, and you can see that Photoshop created a new folder that includes the watermarks, and it works well on both landscape and portrait orientations.